before I start the video, there's something that I want to explain and I also need to explain. Uh, in the video, you'll see our kids walking around with guns. The guns are not loaded. Uh, I checked them and Lee checked them as well. Uh, sort of a background on both of us. Uh, we were in the Marine Corps together. Uh, we did two combat tours together. In addition to that, I was a um, uh, marksmanship instructor, a rifle range coach. Uh, I was a designated marksman for two deployments. And I was an enhanced marksmanship instructor. Where it was like close quarter shooting and stuff like that. So Lee and I, when it comes to guns and safety, and especially around kids, we are uh, extremely safe. Even with the kids BB guns, uh, it's gun safety, gun safety, gun safety all the time. So with that, here's the video. You were saying this is an old dolly? Yeah, all that is And you stand up and hang on to this. Well, I sit right here. Yeah. Like I want, if I'm running through shallow water or something, I'm standing up where I want to see over the front of the boat. Just hang on to that, the grab bar. It's just bolted to the... Yeah, it's bolted down on top of that aluminum. I love it. It works. recording you because you're the only one wearing orange and we're not well, I'm just this is what he does he's safe we are not well this way at least if i'm if i'm in front of the pack we won't get shot there there we go that's the logic behind it and if somebody does get shot it'll be me <laughs> he was saying this is it's all leased land it's owned by someone and they have the lease for it hanging out at his site. He's got a deer stand right there and his feeder's up in the tree. But he was saying the dark spots on all the trees is where the water line comes up to. So this area like totally. Yeah, in the springtime, because it's springtime you get all the snow that melts up north coming down. Right. Plus you get that south wind coming off the gulf. So you get the south wind pushing the water in and you get that snow melting up north, the water gets hot. So that's why in the summertime, like remember I used to tell you, you need to come down in the springtime to kill hogs? Yes. Because it pushes them all on high land. They're easy to find. So you're talking that water goes up at least five feet. 
Oh yeah, like easily eight, five like, feet. Like the Chappaquiddick River we were just in. Yeah. Right now it's at one. Right now I think it's at one and a half foot right now. And it'll get like it's been up to nineteen foot before. That's insane. Like, that's that's the high. That's the highest it's ever been with nineteen. We've been walking for a little bit. We didn't find anything, so we're gonna go and try to find stuff to shoot. Let the kids shoot the guns for a little bit. We have a twenty-two and a four ten. And then Lee's got his 30 out six with him, just in case we saw something bigger, but we didn't see anything. The whole point wasn't really to shoot anything, it was more just the kids to experience this. Which has been fun. Williams had a blast. Having fun? Yeah. Oh, Nick is too. They got to climb a deer stand for the first time. It's on fire. Good shot. Nice shot. First now, shot. Rack it. Great shot. Pull it back. Okay, so, yeah, he's a lefty. Okay, there you okay. go. Do you have another one? Let me know when you're ready for it on fire. Bro! Oh, it's on fire. It's on fire. Nice oh. shot, buddy. Smoked it, son. Finish it. My kids are two for two. Eagle. right here help out the oil industry they bring uh, supplies and equipment <laughs> this first one here is why it's got the uh, reel in the back it helps anchor the oil rig down huge boats this one is all supplies Saying crappy, they call it Sokolay here. We just dropped the kids off, so we're gonna go back like into the little cuts and drive around through there.
live right there. I don't know. I don't know. They live there, that's fine. They're both out there. They must not be home. I don't like throwing away when they move. And it's there. This was? Yep. Where did it, it go? So it was that way? I'm saying that way. Okay. He was saying that the lease that he has is over there. It's no, just, this is all my lease. Oh, this is? Yeah, 600 all the way, acres? Yeah, all the way to go. This pipeline pops back out on another body over there. So this so, is all a pipeline? Yeah, this underground. The pipeline we walked down when my stand is on? Right. Yeah, if we'd have walked till we couldn't anymore, we'd have dead right there. But if I cross this body out, we'd keep going. This is all, this is all the lease. Wow. Yeah, Nutra. We just shot a Nutra. It's right there. So we're going to go try to get it. All right, hold up. I have to pause it again. I'm sorry. Uh, but there's two animals that need to die in Louisiana. Pigs and Nutria. Not a joke. Uh, they Both of those destroy the uh, habitat down there. Uh, and they're not good. They're invasive and they have to go. So I just want to point that out. That is a natural fact. Joker's got teeth. Oh yeah, they got big teeth, man. Real big teeth. And that's a that's not a huge one, but he's not small. We we uh we took his anchor and we put it in the water to see how deep it is. We're guessing it's only about 18 inches. And he said it's high tide right now. Low tide it'll go to uh, what six? Yeah, today six inches. Yeah, today is gonna drop over a foot. So you're gonna be at about six inches right here this afternoon. So that's what they look like. <laughs> well, crazy. You but you don't eat them, but you said people do. Yeah, people do. I mean, I'm not above eating it. All right. it is, is, it looks like a rat, but it's really not much different than a rabbit. I eat rabbits. We're just a little bit stuck. 
Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is why the kids are not with us. Here we go. No, that's nope. not where we go. <laughs> Just bent it. Okay. <laughs> and there goes that. A few moments later. Made it. And off we go. Back to the house. We're gonna show the kids the rat.